You two are leaving tomorrow morning. Now, I got nothing against you personally, but you're wanted by the authorities and a bad influence on this household, in my opinion. Well, ma'am, we sure didn't mean to influence anybody. And if we did, we, we apologize. Going into town tomorrow to see about some shots for the baby. When I get back, you better be gone or I'll kick you out myself. What's he need? His dip tit? I'm awful sorry, boys, but when it gets mad, you know, she gets an idea. There ain't a thing to apologize for, H.I. Seems pretty clear what the situation is here. Yeah, I guess the missus wants us to clear out. All right, H.I if you'll forgive me for saying so. I get the feeling that this here ain't exactly working out. Edwina is generally a real and sweetheart. as per usual, I wouldn't be surprised if the source of the marital friction were financial. As a matter of fact, I did lose my job today. Oh, hi. You're young and you got your health. What do you want with the job? But I'd rather light a candle than curse your darkness. As you know, Evel here and I never go anywhere without there's a purpose. And here we are in your little domicile. We come to invite you in on a little score, hi. A bank, H.I. Come on now. <clears throat> I know you're partial to convenience stores, but damn it, H.I., the sun don't rise and set on the corner grocery. Like Doc Schwartz says, you just gotta have a little ambition. We just watching on the news how someone snatched off one of them Arizona babies. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Now there's somebody that was thinking big. And here you are sitting on your butt playing house with a... Don't get me wrong, H.I., with a fine woman, but one that needs one of them button-down types. I don't particularly think that's any of your. Hi. Looky there. There's a picture of El Dorado, hi. Though the locals call it the Farmers and Mechanics Bank of LaGrange, looks like a hayseed bank. To tell you the truth, it is a hayseed bank. Except for the last Friday of each financial quarter when there's more cash in that bank than flies at a barbecue. And guess what day it is tomorrow? When all them hayseeds come out and cash their farm subsidy checks. A1 information, H.I. Got it from a guy in the joint named Lawrence Spivey, one of Dick Nixon's undersecretaries of agriculture. He's in for soliciting sex from a state trooper. Ordinarily, we don't associate with that type of person, but he was trying to make some brownie points for some of the boys. <laughs> boys, I can't. Hi, we need someone handy with a scattergun to cover them hayseeds while we go in there and get that cash. You understand, H.I. If this works out, it's... It's just the beginning of a spree to cover the entire Southwest proper. And we keep going till we can retire or we get caught. Either way, we're fixed for life. Boys, it's a kind offer. But you're suggesting I just up and leave Ed. Now that'd be pretty damn cowardly, wouldn't it? Would it? Think about it, H.I. Seems to me sitting around here ain't doing her any good. And you ain't being true to your own nature. 